everyone, it's Iman from Brooklyn Seeds, the Kids Nature and Gardening Program. I'm so excited about introducing you to another great native plant. It's not exactly the prettiest plant in the world. It's called fleabane, but here's why you should plant it. It's a scraggly looking plant with tiny flowers that you may not even notice. I've seen it growing in driveways, in lawns, sidewalk cracks, and in gardens. And there are different kinds of fleabane plants, common fleabane, daisy fleabane, and many others. But this plant has been in North America for millions of years, which means it's a native plant and our native animals absolutely need it. In fact, recent research from the great entomologist Doug Tallamy shows that at least seven of our American bees, pollen specialists, rely on fleabane. Wait, what the heck are pollen specialists. Pollen specialists are bees that only have relationships with just a few or even just one plant. They forage for a specific kind of pollen that can only be found on this plant. Without this plant, these bees won't survive. We all know the bees are in trouble, but did you know that honeybees are not native to North America? Do you know which ones are native? Mason bees. Have you heard of mason bees? Okay, listen to how important their survival is for our survival. Listen to these numbers. It takes 700 honeybees to pollinate one apple tree, but only takes seven native mason bees to do the exact same job. So, the next time you see a scraggly looking plant that sort of looks like a weed, do the research. And if it is a native plant that's native to your region, like fleabane, leave it alone, let it grow. If we just grow what's pretty, and we just grow what's cheap, and we don't grow native plants, we are contributing to the extinction crisis. We can't keep complaining about animals going extinct when we refuse to grow the plants these animals need to survive. Do the right thing. Brooklyn Seeds. Mm -hmm.